So, welcome to uh, Math 142. This is for winter quarter um, 2021. So, uh, as you know, we're going to be all online, and we're going to be using WallMap as our uh, um, as our course shell for this. And I just wanted to show you around it. My name is Chuck Devanji. I'm your instructor for uh, for this course, and so uh, nice to uh, introduce myself to you. I guess I'm not meeting you. Uh, I've been an adjunct here at Wacom for about uh, 25 years. I uh, also teach in the Bellingham School District. I've been doing that for about the same same amount of time. So here's WAMAP. Uh, right now, I have it in what's called uh, Student View. You've logged in, so you've actually been here already. Um, and as you can see, you can see out two weeks. And you, you should be able to always to see out two weeks into the future. If I flip it off in uh, Student View, this would be your view into my view, Instructor View. You can see that I have the whole course laid out. I have my weeks out. And the weeks will be released uh, basically two weeks before their week, uh, the Wednesday of. So if you like to work ahead, you have lots of opportunities to do that and at least plan ahead. So uh, let me show you some sections here. Announcements, I will, uh, I'll post stuff here um, at least weekly. So check announcements. Um, this talks about what you should be getting done. You've probably already looked at this because you're watching this video. Also, here's a nice little uh, video on using late passes, and I'll talk about talk about late passes. Um, yeah, let's talk about kind of the structure. So, week one, this is the this is our first week. I notice there's a couple of announcements in here. Talks about uh, what you can read, that sort of thing. What I'd like to be doing day one. Again, you've probably read this already. Um, here's this video right here that I th I think you're watching right now. <laughs> um, every week we'll have some lectures. Uh, like this, 6.1, 6.2, those are associated to chapters in the book. Um, I have a lecture with it, and then after you watch the lecture, I have some uh, some problems out of the book that I think are good practice, things that you should try. So this is practice. And then if there's some additional videos often listed too that just help you think about topics from that section. So 6.1, 6.2, and then every week we'll also have quizzes and forums you can open that up. It talks about what the quizzes and forms are for that week and when they're due. You can always see it here. Okay, that being said, uh, I'm going to back out of week one, and I'm going to take a quick peek at the resources tab. So there's a bit here. So first off, you get that syllabus. So if I take a peek at the syllabus, there's some information on here like uh, this is my Wacom email which you can use. I'd really prefer it if you'd use the, the WAMAP email. And it's better for you because I'll, I'll respond quicker if you use the WAMAP email. I'll show you that in a minute, the messaging. Course description, prereqs, you can read all of this. We will be using WAMAP rather than Canvas. And it, I do say in the syllabus, please communicate me through the WAMAP messaging system. It's actually more robust and easier to use. A um, couple things, exam schedule. We have a midterm on February 9th. We have a final on March 25th. Other stuff in here, grading scale. Um, one thing I want to point out, the class ends at the final. So if you're trying to get stuff done, all work must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final exam. Uh, so the day before the final is when if your last chance to get anything in that you haven't got it in yet. Nothing will be accepted after that date. You also get six late passes, which you can use on some of the assignments. And we'll talk about those in a moment. Percentages for each category <clears throat> for the class. So a couple things. We have homework. Um, I showed you that in back in week one, that with each section that has a lecture associated with it, there's homework as well. Uh, and you can you can see that it that it says that homework is not graded. So I'm not going to look at your homework questions, but I think it is really really uh, advantageous to you to try the problems. Um, make sure that you are getting practice in on the skills. We have a midterm and a final together. There's 65% of the grade. Breaks out up here how that is. Um, those are online assessments on those dates. Uh, those are time tests. So you have to complete it in a two hour sitting. So like once you start the test, you have two hours to complete it. Uh, no, no pausing in that time. And what I'll do is I'll open up a window from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. on the day for you to get it done. So um, if you want to have the full two hours, do start the test at least by 8 p.m. 10 p.m. the close the test will close. Um, another thing is I really recommend that you submit your scratch work after uh, completing the test to me. Just take a picture of it and send it to me in, in WAMAP. I can give you partial credit on, on questions then. So 
So a midterm final category. We have another uh, category that's called practice quizzes and forums. Um, practice quizzes, they're not timed. You get four tries on each question uh, with some feedback on them. Um, and they do need to be done by 11.59 on the due date. You can always do them earlier. Um, and if you miss one, you can you can use one of your late passes to get it done. Forums, you cannot use late passes on forums. Forums, I'll prompt a question for the week. Um, I expect you to answer the prompt to, to what it's asking. And then as well, to take a little bit of time to respond to one of the, at least one of the person's uh, prompt uh, response in the forums. Together, that's 15% of the grade. Time quizzes. Now, time quizzes are a lot like the practice quizzes. So if you're doing good on the practice quiz, you're going to be in great shape for the, for the time quiz as well. <coughs> time quizzes are timed. They're two hours long. Again, one sitting. Um, you get, I think, three tries on each of these. Yeah, three attempts per questions on this. It's a nice little countability just so you know how you're doing on some of the problems. Um, again, they need to be completed by 11.59 on the due date, so if you want the full two hours, make sure you start two hours before that. And again, you can always do them early. A couple things. Round of three decimal places, unless it says differently. That's just a good assumption to, uh, to have. And then sometimes there's an, there's an auto grader on both the practice and the time quizzes. Sometimes you'll submit an answer, you're sure that it's right, uh, and it's marked wrong. Just send me a message. It could be that the auto grader missed the subtlety. It could be that there's something about the rounding. I will take a look at it. I look at all the tests and quizzes um, after right after their due date as well. So I do go through and, and try and catch any mistakes that auto grader may have missed. I do feedback on them as well. So take a little time after I've looked at it um, and just see what sort of feedback I've given you on some of the questions, that sort of thing. All right, you are here in WAMAP, so we are good on that. Uh, still in resources. Printable calendar. So this is something that I really suggest you, you print. So if I open this up, um, this is the whole course. So you can see a couple things on here. Um, first day is January 6th. Course intro is this video, and there's some day one tasks to do. Um, so a couple things I put on here. 6.1, 6.2, anything that looks like that, that will be the section that the, the lecture is on for that day. Anything that's italicized is due on that date. So we have a week one forum due on Thursday. We have the practice quiz 1A due on Friday. Uh, needs to be done. You can, again, always turn stuff in early, and I encourage you to do so. It's, it's nice to be on top of it. Um, so if I was being on top of this class, I would make sure that I've watched the 6.1 lecture by Thursday and, uh, and tried the homework problems as well. 6.2 by Friday. You know, if I look at week three, I make sure that I have this done by Thursday. Again, you can always look at them early as well. Um, there's a couple of exceptions to it, but I've tried to structure the, the course so that most of the time uh, your form response is due on a Wednesday. I'm sorry, your, your initial form is due on a Wednesday. Your response to other people's form entries are due on Friday. Practice quiz is usually on Wednesday. Time quiz is usually on Friday. There's a, there's a couple of exceptions to that just because the weeks get, get a little bit mixed up because we have some, uh, some days that the college are closed. But for the most part, I try to keep it to that. And you can see the midterms on here, February 9th. You can see the finals on here, March 25th. So right here, if you print this out and keep it, uh, the only reason this would be changed is if something really strange happened. Like, I don't think we don't even have to worry about snow days. So uh, I'm not sure why it would change. It might, but probably not. And if it does, I would give you a lot of heads up about it. Print this out. Refer to it often. Make sure that you, uh, you don't miss any, miss any deadlines. So like I said, if you're going to um, message me, I'd like you to use messages from here. So click on messages. Um, you can select the person that you're sending it to and send me a message. I'm going to make a new one. Aha, send new message. Send it to me. There'll be you know, a list of people you can send it to. Whatever you want to write about. Uh, one of the things I really like about this messaging is, and this is in resources, you can look up how to use it. You can you can edit and enter math uh, things um, for math, like um, formatted for math for here with add new math or here as well. 
You can also, there's a shortcut if you just um, go shift uh, parentheses that gets you into this menu. So notice if I write 3x divided by 5 here and I click outside of it, it actually starts to format it like math. Like so, I'm going to put that 3x and I'll go plus x squared. And so notice that we can have like a math conversation if we message each other here. And the same thing goes for the forums. So there is a part in resources where I want uh, I want you to take a peek at typing math symbols in WAMAP. Um, look at this section right here. This tells you ways to get any symbol that we'll need for this for this course in here. All right, uh, I'm just checking my notes one more time. Oh yeah, last thing. Hey, the math center. Um, the math center is up and running. You can't go in, but you can you can schedule uh, you know like Zoom meetings with people that sort of thing. Take advantage of that. You've already paid for it with your uh, with your tuition payment. And uh, people who use it often, I've I've only heard positive things about it. Um, and if you have a, a kind of a little bit of a negative experience at first, just try a different tutor. Um, sometimes you just it, it'll just be like if you click with the person or not. All right, uh, that is about it. Please message me with any questions that you have anytime. Um, I have this up all day, uh, so I will be uh, I'll usually give you a really quick response if you message me in WAMAP. Looking forward to working with you all. Uh, this is a fun course, lots of good trig in it. All right, well, I look forward to uh, reading your forum posts and uh, messaging with you. Take care.